everyone. Welcome back to Stephanie Plans and Reads. Today I'm going to be planning the week of the 18th in my Hobonichi cousin. Um, I will just say at the outset, I do have a bit of a cold, so if my voice sounds a bit strange or um, if I lose it, I do have some tea here. Um, which I will take a sip of now. And hopefully I can get through the video. Um, today I'm using up more of my kits, although this kind of is an add-on. So I'm using a Rebel Ink Co. kit, which is the um, Peppermint Lane Standard Vertical Kit. So it's not going to fit my Hobonichi Cousin exactly. Um, and it comes with yeah, six pages. So like tons and tons of stickers. I've already set up, um, used this kit before. So this is what I have left. And then um, she, at one point, she was having a sale. And so I picked up the because I liked the kit and the colors and everything for Christmas. So I picked up the Peppermint Lane journaling kit. And it's going to have some date covers and some washi that I can use. And it's all from the same kit, so I'll put it together. Um, these date covers, I think, are going to be too wide. Just, just ever so you know, a little wide, but so I'm gonna, I saw somebody, I can't even remember who it was, but they were, it was, I don't even know where it was. I saw it either Facebook or uh, Instagram or YouTube, but they had a kit that they were kind of repurposing and they kind of made it, you know, slanted them kind of. So I think I'm going to do that. Plus these are kind of brush stroked ones. So I think it might look all right. And then I'll use these underneath, I think, depending on, or maybe I should go like that to cover up. And then, yeah, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use that to cover up the existing dates. And then there, there is some big washi here, um, somewhere here. That's really thick washi and it's really, I don't know, maybe, oh gosh, I'm, maybe I should have thought about this before I came on. That's, maybe I'll use that up there and then I can use the thinner one down there. Let's just do it. So how is everyone? Uh, is everyone ready for Christmas next week or this week that you're see seeing this? Um is the last week before Christmas and I don't know about you but it hasn't felt very Christmassy. Um, I'm not sure why like I'd, it's not like I don't feel you know in the mood for Christmas because I know it can be a very difficult time of year for some people and and it's and it doesn't seem to be that for me. But I just feel like, I don't know, like it doesn't seem like it's Christmas already. Um, I'm just going to, sorry, I'm reaching over to get my ruler to cut this washi. Um, we, in my family, we um, picked from a hat gifts. So who will give what gifts to whom? And... I really like that because then you don't, especially in this economy, you don't have to spend, you know, an arm and a leg to um, buy Christmas presents for everyone. Um, and I have a small family anyway, so um, I think this is upside down. I'm going to keep going with the upside down because... People probably watching this and going, it's upside down, it's upside down. 
These ones are not the easiest to pull up, especially on Tomoe River paper. So I'm not even going to try and um, fix it. So it is what it is. It'll be upside down, upside down candy canes. Anyway, what was I saying? So, yeah, I haven't had a lot of people to buy for. And I think, you know, going out in the shops and buying a whole load of gifts and stuff does um, put you in the Christmas spirit a bit because you're kind of out and seeing everyone and everyone's saying happy, you know, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And yeah, I just think maybe because I haven't done a lot of shopping, this is, let's try something new here. It, it's maybe not been as Christmassy as that's good enough as what I thought, you know, what I imagined what has been in the past. I think once everybody stops working and you know, we're all at home and enjoying food and drink and all that stuff with family, I think I'll feel more Christmassy. That took a long time. <laughs> it was a long, a long road. Okay. So now these date, dates. So this is what I was thinking. Apologies for my cough there. I was thinking like that. Um, I'm not sure if it works, but this is what we're doing. This is what we're going with. Um, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm fairly... ready for Christmas. There's a couple of places I want to go. I'd like to have like some food and wine at Christmas. Um, uh, like cheese and you know like kind of a picky, we call it picky tea so like you just um, tea is another word for dinner um, or supper or whatever and we um, you know just have bread and cheese and wine and stuff like that. So I want to get a few of those things. And then um, basically just wrap the presents that I had to give. So what about you guys? Are you ready or do you have lots of stuff to do still? Um, so I put those down. So I'm just going to now look at my December calendar for the week we have two oh okay so we have two crickets on Tuesday Wednesday and that's also the day we do training so they're essentially I'm gonna put those just up at the top there because they're essentially decorative and then I need, hmm, <laughs> I've got these, these things here that might fit better in, and I've got these ones, so let's do that, so we we'll use, da -da. these two. Training, in the morning, and then cricket is probably later on in the afternoon, so I'm just going to put them roughly there. Um, in terms of these, you know, 
I don't you I don't stick to these dates um, or times very much. Um, I kind of see as this is the kind of the morning, this is the afternoon, this is the evening type thing. But as we know, I put my um, reading down here, so that kind of brings up the end of my day to to roughly here, and that's where I'll put dinners or things that have to go on in the night. So I don't stick, you know, really strictly to the timelines. Um, let's do the side. Oh, that's. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, this is also the day where we have garbage and recycling. So I'll put that there. And then, oh, this is adorable. I will put that there. And I'll put my laundry and stuff there. I mean, that is the cutest little thing, and it fits in there perfectly, so lovely. Okay, now I'll work on my sidebar, because those are the things that are happening next week, and then I can add. So, I will put, as usual, I'll put dinners down at the bottom. I have to put this really close to the um edge because it's made for um one and a half inch columns and these are one and a third i believe so and then i'll put the again putting them very close to the edge i will put the the tool right here why don't I use them the habit trackers and then what else do I need to put on this side nothing really but I have these little I suppose they're like to-do lists and you can put things in and so I don't think I need a big one like this so I'm just gonna use this little one here and then put, put it right there. And some little icons. So we have a little soccer or running shoe. I'll put that there. And we have a Hoover or a vacuum. I will put here and then we have anything else no um what else do I want to put down oh <clears throat> I'll put down this washi it does not look like it has a a right way or a wrong way to go so won't put it on upside down this is a really cute kit and next week um, my plan with me will be the last I think now that I start so talking about it I'm a little bit yeah next week's the last one before the end of the year and the move into my common planner I'm really excited about it I think it's yeah gonna be um Good. I'm looking forward to moving in to this. I've already started, um, you know, some of the setup, which I showed. And then I've done my goal, which I could talk about. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into the 
the first week of January in the planner, not necessarily, you know, life. Um, I don't want to wait, you know, go too far ahead and miss the holidays, but, um, okay. So now I need books and I did see books there and I'll use, let's see. So there's so much in this kit. I'll use this pink one. Okay, so let's put some words down. I've got a sticky note of some plans that I have to put. Okay, so that we need a this week for up here. Um, let's put this, this, oh, can you see? Yes, this, this beak. It's kind of similar. And then we need a read or reading. again with this this is again I've, I've said this so many times this is my absolute favorite font um I got these ones at for creek stickers absolute love Let's put a don't forget for my habits. And I'll use maybe this little one here. And I didn't leave much of a space there for meals. Um, let's see what I can find in terms of, oh, it's a real small meal plan and I'll just Tuck that right in. Huh. Okay. Now I need some sort of workout training, something there. Um, I use these. These aren't the same, which is not a problem. As you know, on this channel, we are 100% mixed fonts. It just, it is what it is. Um, I have no problem with mixed fonts. I like mixed fonts. I really like, though, um, clear stickers. And so in my, um, in the new year, I hope to have m many more of these kind of clear stickers that kind of just blend in with your, uh, existing, um, planner. I think it just kind of fits in with my uh, aesthetic, shall we say, lately, or desire anyway. Um, so I'll put pill tray there, but we also need one that says cleaning. Need laundry. And we have one that says a small to a small clean. Oh. How about there's clean to clean to clean clean house. How about I just put kind of a generic cleaning? And then here is garbage day. And weirdly, I have hardly any 
garbage day. Um, scripts, which I find strange. This is my Coffee Monsters Co. little icon type things. And I think I have the garbage in here somewhere. I go through spurt oh, yeah. um I go through my stash and I think okay I need a whole bunch of like laundry stickers for example or grocery stickers but laundry grocery and garbage I seem to go through quite a lot and I'm always out of one of them even though I I make a kind of concerted effort to try and um, buy them all at once. Okay, so this is, now I have a couple of things. So I want to write these down on my to-do list before I forget, because these are things that aren't scheduled for any particular day, um, but I need to rem remember to do them. So I need to pay my phone bill. Um, we are going out for Indian and we want to go to Vineland, which is where I'm going to get the cheese and wine and yeah. The other stuff is just stuff that I will remember anyway. Okay. So those are the stuff I needed to put. I'll actually write these stuff down here too. So you know I do gratitude. Uh, journal. And reflection. Um, if you haven't seen my latest video um, I'm talking about how I use my planner to support my mental health and these are you know three of the ways in which I use my planner for supporting that through gratitude journal and reflection if you're interested in that video I'll link it um, up I don't know where it goes in the corner there um, yeah, and if you feel like that resonates with you at all, please leave a comment and let me know. Okay, so now it's decorating time. And I have only one sticker. Now these are going to be wider again. So I'm thinking I will do something similar to what I did with my other one, which is kind of put them in... across the, the time rather than so let's see if I can show you one so so something like that I'll do that and then is there another decorative one so this is, this is the other decorative sheet so I'm gonna use this so these ones I don't know if you can see our um I, I think that they're strips and you can use them like to put in between things to kind of bracket them off. Or if you have those um, like an Erin Condren or Happy Planner that has the, the kind of Monday or morning, afternoon, evening and in, in kind of boxes, the vertical, you can put those in the middle. I think that's what these are for, but there's tons of them in this kit and I... Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't really have a lot of use for them at the moment, but I do think I can find places for these. I think I'm going to put this off, off center because it's going to look weird otherwise. 
just gonna kind of tuck it in with my tool. And then I've got this one. I'll put up here in between these. Like I said, I'll have to schedule some of these things in here, um, but I can, you know, put them around. If you can't be decorative at Christmas, when can you be? I love these houses. Um, so I'm going to put them down here. I mean, how cute. How cute are those houses? And do, 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 do. since Santa, this is the 24th, I'm going to put this little Santa I can explain sticker. It's cute. And maybe it's Canada Cane season, I'll put like that. So again, my strategy, in case you weren't here the last time I did this kind of full on, I think I've been doing it more in these winter months, is just to put things, buy things, <laughs> the kind of layering. Um, let's see some of these ones. So just like that kind of thing. So oh, I don't know if it necessarily works, but that's what I'm doing. I actually find this time of year really fun in the planner community because people tend to be just like I'm doing here, just a little bit more like silly and decorative and fun. Um, I think at the beginning of the year, um, maybe I'm a little bit more um, functional. And I think because I have less and less to do at the moment, I'm, t I'm tending to just be uh, having fun with it. I don't know why I said trash, because I like to use the garbage. Anyway, um, yes, more decorative, more decorative. Of this green bow on this. Kind of looks like Christmas threw up on this page. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind at all. If you can't have fun at Christmas, when can you? What do you think? Will I be have any room to write in plans? <laughs> I think that looks good. It's definitely over the top, but it's fun. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I kind of add things as I go along. We're currently on Thursday today, so you can see I've been adding things, um, through the week, uh, get, getting back on track with reading, which a video will come, um, on Tuesday talking about my, uh, reading goals and... Yeah, I'm very grateful for your support. Thank you for 
um, subscribing. If you like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We are almost at 200 and that would be a very nice uh, Christmas present um, from the YouTube community. Uh, so follow me on Goodreads, on Instagram, and Twitter, or Twitter, gosh, no, we're not doing that anymore, um, Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.